Good day everyone, I am Ayan Marquinini and I will be showing to you the laboratory burner. Uh, before we start, we need to put on some safety goggles and laboratory gun. And for this video, I will be showing to you what is a Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner is a great way of heating up substances in a controlled way, but it must be used with care. A handy way of remembering how to light a Bunsen burner safely is set a light. Let's see what this means. S is for safety, which always comes first. Make sure you're wearing a lab coat and safety glasses. Tie back long hair and clear your bench of anything that's flammable, meaning that it could catch on fire. E is for edge. Place the burner on a heat proof mat a safe distance from the edge of the bench. T is for tube. Check that the rubber tube is free of cracks. Connect the tube firmly to the gas tap. Make sure the tap is in the off position. Remember, the off position makes an L shape. A is for air hole. The air hole is located at the bottom of the barrel, near the base. It can be opened or closed by turning a metal ring called the collar. This controls the amount of air and oxygen that mixes with the gas. The more oxygen, the hotter the flame. Always make sure that the air hole is closed before lighting the burner. Okay you're ready to light the match and hold it above the barrel. Finally, you can turn on the gas. It's important to light the match first to avoid releasing dangerous gas into the air. You should always follow these six steps when lighting a Bunsen burner. Now you've successfully lit the Bunsen burner, you should begin with a bright yellow flame. This is called the safety flame because it's easy to see and isn't as hot as the full flame. To get a hotter flame, we need to mix in more air. To do this, turn the collar to open the air hole. You will now have a blue flame with a bright blue inner core. The hottest part of the blue flame is here at the tip of the cone. There are three more safety rules for using the Bunsen burner while it's lit. If you need to move the burner, hold it by the base. Don't touch it any higher than the collar. Never leave a lit Bunsen burner unattended. And if anything goes wrong, turn off the gas tap immediately. Okay, so you've finished your experiment. Before turning off the Bunsen burner, close the air hole first to return to the safety flame. Now you can turn off the tap and blow out any small flame that remains. Disconnect the hose and leave the Bunsen burner to cool before packing it away. Bunsen burner is used during this procedure and parts of the laboratory burner and its uses. Mouth of the tube, where flame is located. Second is the barrel where air gas mix. The third is collar for adjusting airflow to control airflow and fourth is air control vent to make easier to light the burner and fifth is the gas inlet connect the gas burner and gas jet and lastly is the gas jet allows the gas to enter the burner. Questions during the observation What may happen to the flame if there is too much gas flowing or too much air entering the air vents, it will extinguish the flame since more gas is combusted. Number two, give at least two reasons why the luminous yellow flame is less desirable than non-luminous blue flame. First is yellow flame are less hotter than blue flame. Second, yellow flame is poisonous carbon monoxide. Third question, why do you think the flame sometimes smoky? It is because of incomplete combustion. Why do you think the flame sometimes separates from the tip of the burner? Because too much air in the mixture. Why does a burner sometimes strikes back? With too much air, the flame may burn inside the burner tube. That's why it strikes back. In generalization, Bunsen burner is a device for com Binding a flammable gas with controlled amounts of air before ignition.